Hi, Clarisians around the world. We are from the organism of the U.S. and Canada, and we also want to share our experience of what it means to be a son of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. We're called to carry Mary in our hearts, but also how to follow the example of Mary. And that's saying yes to God, carrying Jesus inside her, and follow through with Him. So how is it that we, as followers of Jesus, also can develop that sense of caring Jesus inside ourselves? I think like that's who we are, the identity of Christians, uh, Immaculate Heart of Mary. And uh, I still remember the autobiography of St. Anthony Mary Claret. He says, Mary is after Jesus, you know, for us. And that shows uh, the identity and the connection between the relation between Mary and the Christians. Sons also implies being brothers, you know, brothers in Christ. And you know, how do we, how do we carry this idea of being brothers in our ministry? How do we support each other? How do we give each other, you know, that helping hand, that ability to carry on spiritually, you know, carry on in our ministries, carry on in all the things, you know, that it means to be brothers in, in Christ, and how we look to Mary to also intercede and help help us to do all these things. In this uh, title, Sons of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, two words strike me, sons and heart. So I remember the words of our present uh, uh, general, Father Matthew Watamatam, when he was our novice master, he told, we are not servants, we are sons. It means we have our rights and we have our duties. So as a congregation, I think as son of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I have my right to my mom as well as I have my duty to do as son. And that all should come from the heart. It's a sense of identity and also a sense of, a sense of belonging. Not only with each other as Christians, but uh, with the lay Christians, with, uh, uh, with all the people that we serve, and uh, with everybody that we uh, 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 basically we find on our path. I think one of the things that attracted me to come to the community is just the Mary and devotion and coming to know that when Anthony Claret founded the community, he trusted us to her heart and the sense that she's the formator, the formatrix, the, the mother. We come to her to be refreshed, to be nourished, and to be encouraged to go and, and, and just be ready, like faithful servants and willing to give ourselves just like she did. Someone who is always pointing to Jesus and service. And even from the very beginning, she went to get visit her cousin Elizabeth. And from that very moment, she took Jesus there and she helped evangelize to John as well, who noticed Jesus there. And I think that's what I see we need to do, to be someone to always to evangelize, to always bring about the love of Christ in everyone. We are the sons of